Hey y'all, it's All of Destiny. So today's video is a speed clean with me bedroom and bathroom edition. I hope you all enjoy this video, whether you need some cleaning motivation or if you just like to watch other people clean, let's go ahead and get right into it. Are you coming soon to me? And that's the time living, money and pretty women. Baddest bras in the city. That's all I'm here. That's just how I'm living. So I'm gonna start off first by just kind of like letting my bed back down. I do my laundry every week, so it's already been washed. Um, but I do like to spray Febreze onto my bed every time before I make it. I either go between Febreze and the Audubon, if I'm saying it correctly. That one is like a disinfectant type. Um, but like I said, I had just washed my sheets, so I'm just gonna kind of spray the Febreze. That way when I get back in my bed, it smells really good. down below and let me know if you make your bed daily I definitely like to do so I like to miss just like a spray over my room the one that I use today is by better home and gardens it's the lavender scent from Walmart and of course what's cleaning without music so I'm gonna pull up Pandora and just let that run so I do have a king-size bed but I naturally gravitate towards the left side I guess the left side of my bed or right side Either way, the side that's like the closest to me coming out of the bathroom. So I have one nightstand that's super clean and then the other nightstand houses like just too much of my stuff. I'm always torn between making use of my cabinet space, having my daily use items easily accessible. I lean more towards easily accessible <laughs> for the stuff that I know I'm gonna reach for daily. Like how do I put it away? Because then it becomes out of sight, out of mind. <sighs> I'm working on it. <laughs> My favorite item for cleaning wood is the liquid gold. It's like the best, like you're gonna get the best polish and shine. I like to go from top to bottom and I know that I'm going to like sweep them up and everything once I'm done. So for all of the glass and mirrored items I'll be using Glass cleaner from Walmart and paper towels. I hate when I throw out the newspapers that come in the mail or just like sale papers to keep them for my cleaning days because now I'm about to waste so many paper towels, especially because my microfiber cloths need to be washed too. But it's all good. By the way, look at that coaster. One of my subscribers sent me that. That's me on my coaster. What? Quit playing with me. Okay. <laughs> Bye. So as of a couple of weeks ago, I'm someone who now keeps a bottle of juice and my water bottle. Usually my water bottle is always by the side of my bed. But I just don't want to have to get all the way back up. Like imagine getting in bed and then deciding that you want juice. I can just have it right there already. I don't mind it room temp anyway. Taking more of the liquid gold to polish up the wood portions of my bed. <laughs> down there wiping I'm like oh I'm almost done and then I look under the bed I'm like what's that so I had to leave go get the broom come all the way back lift the bed up so that I can get under the bed just to like sweep under there I had trapped gas one time so that was like a little yeah a little gas really mind your business <laughs> so I got like a little robotic vacuum named Jeffrey well I named him Jeffrey I use him for like kind of like daily maintenance after I do like my deep cleaning and clearly he doesn't go behind my bed so I gotta do that part myself but yeah I guess we still like him I guess <laughs> So you know how you think your room clean until you sweep behind stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want it. I know you want it. 
Girl, look at me. I'm over here cleaning window seals and everything. Now look at the difference. Y'all see the glow? It's almost glowing like me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> From afar, it's like, okay, what's the point? But if you look close, you can see, like, the dust compared to after. Yeah, get into it. Even though you put everything back kind of like the exact same way, mentally, it's like, okay, I know that this area is dusted. I know that it's clean. So I like to admire my plants, and I don't necessarily just throw them out when a few of them start to die. I pluck out the ones they have, and I keep making little smaller bouquets until they, like, gotta go. To help me to, like, not slow down my time, I kind of see everything at the door instead of, like, going all the way out of the room to put something away. And then I could just grab it all at once when I'm done. So if you're not new here, then you may know sometimes when Destiny takes something off of a counter, she ends up breaking it. I'm not gonna take my things off the top of the dresser, but we are gonna make sure that the dresser is clean. Okay, so this is my candle accessory kit. Basically, wax is kinda like, you can't use water to clean it off, so little heck is just to use some sort of oil like dissolves like and it's going to clean it right off so i kind of bounce around when cleaning because i had already put all of my jewelry away and this is from wayfair i don't think this one is available anymore like the last time i linked it y'all kind of sold it out i found a similar one on amazon so i'll link that one for you all and as far as my clean with me it is kind of different because i'm a daily cleaner um which means i don't really let my things get completely out of hand but if you kind of like look close at different areas certain things will need to be dusted mirrors will need to be cleaned I guess deep cleaning, if you will, but not a, not in a super junky type of space. so if you know me you know i do my thing when it comes to the editing okay so although we probably like a few minutes into this video in real time i'm probably like an hour and a half in but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands very well it's feeding time for my fish cash and flow the green one is cash the pink one is flow yeah i like having this fish tank in my room i don't know i just like waking up to them i just like watching them live their little lives i prefer to have fish over like other pets because like when i do need to clean their space i just have to clean the fish tank my whole house is not like a mess because of pets if that makes sense I wanted to practice like taking care of them for a good while before I decide to maybe get like a big tank. Like if y'all have seen my travel vlogs, y'all seen me being obsessed with aquariums lately. I don't know where I'm going to put it at yet, but we'll see. Also shout out to my subscriber. This is my little spin a night bag. And I also took this with me um, to Miami as well as like my carry on. I love that bag. It is a black owned luxury brand by one of my subscribers that gifted it to me. And every time I need to pack a little spin a night bag, that's the one I'm going to grab and take with me. Okay. Everything can fit and my laptop. I'll link it down below for you all. And you fall and you run when you see my big guns. Run around, run away as your rapper comes out. Then you go, go to me when you fall me. Once she cleaned the house and light a candle, don't touch nothing else in the house. So I like to do something fun around the house, and basically once it's time to replace all of the plugins, I grab a different scent from the previous one that was used, and also my entryway scent and the living room scent is different from the rest of the house. All right, so now that my bedroom is complete, we're going to move to the bathroom. So I'm going to show you all my bathroom as is. I went ahead and moved some of the cleaning products in there already so that everything is like accessible to me. I like to get good use out of my We things. talk about luxury this, luxurious that, soft living, soft lifestyle, da-da-da, right? Um, but for me, 
luxury sometimes even just means use your things. You know how people have like a white living room and you better not dare go in there? If I had a white living room, I'ma just have to like clean the couch off because I'ma be sitting on that couch. <laughs> like you start off by kind of like doing the toilet area. First, don't let this sit too long. I got lost in cleaning and I kind of stained it a little bit, not too much. This is like the lifestyle one, it smells really good. I love the Clorox scented bottles like this with that packaging those are my favorite like they smell amazing and i also like to use things that like kill germs and stuff too so or disinfect the space i'm going to go ahead and clean everything off of the countertop to do like a deep clean we're going to wipe everything down i didn't want to get like lose too much track of time so i pulled up my focus app um and i set the timer for one hour because i got lost in there cleaning my bedroom And I like to make a to-do list. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I post my to-do list daily. Kind of checking things off, but being effective and productive. Uh, in order to kind of keep moving, I don't want to get lost in one task. So when I clean my mirrors, I do like to go back and forth between like paper towel or newspaper and my squeegee. But if there's things on the mirrors that needs to be wiped off, the squeegee is not really good for that. It's good for giving you like a streak-free type of look. So I'll use the paper towel first, then I go back behind that with the squeegee. So after showing you all my shower and mentioning that I wanted to get it redone, mainly because of the shower floor, a lot of you all recommended the pink stuff for me to try as far as getting the stains off. I was giving the pink stuff a try in different areas of the bathroom besides the shower space. Uh, first impression, I kind of don't like it that much. I'll keep using it since I spent my money on it, but right now, it's alright. I think it's just kind of, I don't know, maybe it's pink and people like it. <laughs> so, anywho, I love the Clorox um, cleaning products. So, as y'all can see, those were like my last like three wipes. They smell so good, like sanitize, disinfect, all of that. So, I'm going to wipe down everything. My camera died, so I swapped over to my DSLR camera. Um, so y'all missed the clip of me wiping down all of the cabinets. Time and a place you will spend some time away. Now you need to forward and give me all the
If you watch my videos, you've seen where I unbox packages that my subscribers send me from their businesses. On the back of both of these business cards were just cute little reminders, so I keep them on both sides of my sink in the bathroom. <laughs> So this is another one of those areas where from afar everything looks nice and clean but if you get up close you can see because I keep my Epsom salt um, a little jar right here sometimes I waste it when I'm like scooping it out I It took me forever, like different areas when I take something down, I feel like I kind of put everything back in a different type of way just to rearrange the space. It gives like a refresh to the room, if that makes sense. So I know that this is not a tour, it's a cleaning video, but um, I haven't decided if I want to hang this little canvas yet in here just because of the black trim around it I don't know if it matches the space or not so instead I just sit it on top of that shelf I hung that shelf myself too by the way Previously, I had already shown you all how I clean out the actual jets on my tub over on my Instagram story and the product that I use for that is separate from what I'm using to just kind of clean the perimeter and base of my um, tub. The tub could look clean, but then when you like run that jet cleaner, it could just be a whole bunch of stuff coming out. So I just want to put it out there because I see a lot of people get super excited when y'all go on vacations and y'all see the jetted tubs, but not everybody cleans theirs the same. You can wash the perimeter of this, but if you're not running a cleaner through your jets, that's a problem. Cause let's, when I first moved here, a lot of y'all were sending me this TikTok hack where you try like vinegar, dish liquid, like a dish pie, I think. And it looks clear like this, right? My brother was like, no, get this. So I tried this and then it started looking real yucky like that. This was when I had first moved here, y'all. So imagine if I would've got in this tub after trying the little TikTok hack. Don't play with me. Get this, love. Nah, we're not doing this. This video over. I ain't breaking no more cameras. Not at 31. I'ma call y'all back. I was so glad I didn't have water in that tub, y'all. Oh, I would have been so mad. And my new lens. Okay, so we swapped back over to the vlog camera. A lot of you all DM me saying like, oh my God, thank you. When I had posted that to my Instagram story, I was saying how helpful it was for you to clean your jetty tub at home. So I just wanted to put that out there. Want to now move on to cleaning the shower. The previous owners didn't do a good job taking care of the shower floor. If y'all saw the video where I had the guy come to give me the estimate, he was talking about $8,000 and just being real rude. And I just gotta say it exactly how it is. I'm 31 now, we're not sugarcoating anything. And I haven't looked into it again since. I do daily maintenance to my own shower and with a glass shower, you do have to clean it every day. So um, I like squeegee it down every day after I'm done, clean the glass, all of that. But this is like a deep clean. So we're gonna take everything out and basically Really clean it very well and then start from scratch. Are you on your way? Are you on your way? Are you coming soon to me? No parking in the bay. So I'ma send an Uber to your place. It's my secret safe. Safe with just you and me. So I'll link that video down below if you all want to professionally. I won't even say professional the way that man was acting. <laughs> if you all want to hear from someone in that profession, speak more in depth about my shower and everything like that, because I don't want to like bore y'all with that in this cleaning video. This is my favorite mistake. Oh, look in my eyes. Can you find the lies? Do you feel the lies? Look in my eyes. wiped 
all of the products down because as I reach for them, my hands are soapy when I'm in the shower. So I have just like dried soap scum on my products. So I'm wiping those down with the Lysol. And then my timer went off, so I stopped at that point to move on to other things. But here we are on a different day. So I did proceed with a few other tasks off camera, but I'm learning as a YouTuber to have a cutoff time. Meaning even if I do finish some cleaning um, after cutting the camera off, cutoff time for me now means that everybody on their job has a cutoff point they have set hours that they're designated to work every day and so for me vlogging isn't about grabbing the camera the moment I wake up and holding it and using it until I go to bed at night so with me setting that hour timer it was just done for for my camera time for the day this is my personal bathroom I just y'all say don't do the disclaimers thing but the comments sometimes get a little crazy I don't wear gloves when I clean my own toilet because I'm sitting on it every day but hands what's the difference I wanted to kind of do the entire downstairs, but after doing just the bedroom and bathroom, I was like, yeah, that's a long enough video. But if <laughs> Oh my God. Uh if you all have enjoyed this one enough, I'll definitely kind of make my way around the house and document more footage. We'll see how this one goes and that'll help me to determine from there. Um, that's just kind of how I base my content on what you guys like from me and also what I want to uh, give. But as far as like to-do lists and checking things off, I'm learning to also know that getting things done, done doesn't always mean 100% to completion. By the way, I have like the Clorox toilet. So this is the Stay Fresh pod that I have to insert in the back of it. It wasn't all the way empty, but I had already opened it. So I just went ahead and put that in there anyway. And yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean all the way to completion. I think sometimes if you think that way, you'll be too hard on yourself to overwork yourself to keep going because no, I can't check this off until I'm like fully completed with it. But that's what the next day is for. If you're blessed to wake up, then you wake up and you, you know, proceed with new tasks uh, the very next day. Vacuum cleaner, I'm going to put it on hardwood. If I don't use the vacuum cleaner like you all saw me sweeping in my bedroom, it just depends on what I want to grab in that specific moment for me. And then I'm going to mop. I'm using Pine Saw. Um, this kills germs and it just smells good. It's a classic. Like this brings back childhood memories when I smell this around the house. <laughs> And then I'm going to use my old cedar mop. Like I said, I do have Jeffrey. He's my Bissell robotic um, wet and dry vacuum. So he like vacuums the house and he can also mop. But for me, he's more so like daily type of maintenance. Kind of like what I was saying about the shower, different things I do to the shower daily versus when I like super like deep clean it. Are you coming to me? I'm getting impatient. Oh, look at what you do to me. I'll seek a safe sign after this. When I was cleaning the space, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Why I end up grabbing this candle at Target the other day and it's like the end of July now. But I'm gonna light it anyway. It smells really good. The bathroom is clean now, my bedroom is clean now. I basically took my shower and kind of messed the shower up again, but <laughs> like I said, you have to use your things, right? Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll talk to y'all in my next one. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That will help me to know that you want more cleaning content. I'm excited for August. I'm getting ready to grab my planner now and start writing down like my video ideas. I'm gonna have to have a chat with y'all about like my transition from 30 to 31 and my new motto for 31 with whatever comes naturally do that is my secret safe safe with just you and me we can leave a trace this is my favorite new state oh Sunday. I will talk to you all in the next one. I hope this gave you all some kind of motivation to clean. I grabbed some jacks while I was in Target the other day too. These are not the metal ones. I added those to my cart on Amazon uh, this morning. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching.